Okay, well, we're uh, now going to move on to moving, re sorry, removing the mechanism as well as the knobs along the bottom. You also take off the pitch control and uh, the rest can stay there. Although I did take off the front uh, window. Well, actually taking apart the front panel took quite a while, so I'm just fast forwarding through through this. Understandably, you just need to take uh, lots of care, ensuring you know where all the cables are plugged in and uh, just be uh, very careful. The, the whole uh, video of the front panel ended up uh, nearly five hours worth, so so I've uh, tried to cut it down to a manageable level and uh, just uh, showing hopefully the uh, the important little bits or the most interesting bits so uh, so sit back and uh, see what you think Well, the front is now totally away, and you may or may not be able to see, but in here, here below the display box, all of this stuff is covered with uh, that same brown dust that was on the uh, board inside the display box. So it got out into everywhere and uh, oh yes way down here as well yeah, apparently it was on uh, most of the boards so when it when it went it it covered basically the whole inside of the uh, machine oh, one capacitor causing so much damage so this will uh, well, this will take a while to clean up. Quite a while. Oh well, that's how it goes. Right. I placed it in some uh, bubble wrap while I work on the rest. Well, I've got the bits to uh, hopefully, at least, uh, hopefully repair the fluorescent indicator panel assembly uh, but uh, there's no point in uh, doing that just yet I know what needs to be done so in the meantime I need to get the, uh, the front panel going and the mechanism so which do I look at first I think uh, I'm going to have a go at cleaning this front panel assembly it needs to be disassembled and cleaned. The fluorescent display sits here. Here. And in there there's this brown layer of crap that's uh, in there. So it got everywhere. Terrible, terrible thing. Okay, uh, this one will definitely be ultrasonic. Uh, it needs uh, to get into these cavities. Now, I've used a wax cotton to uh, just hold these washers that are on there. I think they're glued, but uh, just to make sure they don't come away, I've put some wax cotton to hold them on. You could use a zip tie or a bit of wire, but uh, I've got my wonderful wax cotton, which I use for looming. Um, much prefer it. Alright, so we have uh, all of these uh, sections now and I will get to and clean them all one by one. Well, so far I've decided not to use the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, I haven't really needed to. I just take my time with uh, each of these with uh, a bit of alcohol and uh, water and uh, yeah, they're coming up pretty well. Most of these have uh, 
like switches or something which uh, can't really use in a ultrasonic bath anyway uh, this one here I thought of maybe just lowering the, the bottom of it in but I don't think I'll, I'll worry about that I, well actually this is one that I might reconsider but if I can clean it up well enough uh, it just saves a lot of hassles three at least three four the sub assemblies so far and two plus the front panel to do uh, five I've done so five done two plus the front panel to do well unfortunately we have one blown lamp in both panels one of these green ones and uh, in the other front panel there's a row of, of uh, globes and one of those is gone the one that shows the auto position for the calibration uh, so that's that's a shame now I have to figure out if they're both the same they seem to measure the same resistance about uh, 45 to 50 ohms but I need to check the part numbering to see but oh that's a nuisance trying to get these is always hard but even worse than that is it just takes forever to get anything at the moment I mean it could take me two months to get these that means I I can't put the front panel back on oh it is what it is yeah, it'd be nice if I could replace them with leads actually I somehow doubt it because they'll be switched right so so apart from the the two globes one for each different one for two different sub assemblies the only thing left to clean of for sub assemblies go is uh, this one here and okay this particular panel all the globes measure okay at uh, about 25 ohms so rather than risk trying to uh, undo them I'm just going to clean it up as it is <laughs> God knows what these little bits of foamy bits are meant to do. Yeah, there's a little tiny circlip, round circlip, that's uh, it's on the end of the shaft, and it's four prongs, so it works by pushing it down over it and then locking on. And as far as I can see, the only way of getting it off is to actually pull it off and and have it do a a backflip but there's always a risk of something snapping and breaking when you do that I think I'll just uh, wash it as it is see what happens uh, there's no harm I'll just make sure I keep away from the, the lamps and everything and don't let liquid get down into the uh, switches and I think uh, it might be all right this is a mixture of uh, vinegar alcohol and water and a little bit of detergent that last cleaning had no vinegar in it it was the alcohol and water so that's actually good I prefer that <laughs> well that came up pretty well I think so.
Okay. and clean almost oh, that's good okay we're well we're down to the uh, the front panel now to clean oh no we're not I forgot about this one <laughs> 